So it's the 1st of January today, the start of a new year, and I decided to do something a little bit different this year. I got up at half five this morning, which is cool because I got to watch the New Year's Eve celebration at the One Thing conference in Kansas City, which is like six hours behind us. And then I decided to get in my car and go and drive over to Rivington Pike to watch the sunrise and pray in the new year. So I've been thinking about what to make this first video of the year all about and I have some updates for what's going to be happening on this channel because we're changing a few things and the Set Sail channel is about to get way better. I just have more clarity and focus on what this channel is actually about and the kind of stuff that we can do with it this year and I'm super excited. But also my New Year's resolution this year is to grow in prayer. Not that I don't pray at the moment but I want to strengthen it and grow it to a point where I'm not just a guy who prays every now and then but I have a real focused prayer life. One of the things I've been noticing about the life of Jesus recently is how much time he spent in prayer. Even in some of his busiest periods of ministry, the Bible says that Jesus went off to quiet places on his own to go and pray early in the morning before sunrise. Although to be honest, if he was in England, I think he might have stayed inside because it is freezing right now. <laughs> I find it really interesting that the disciples spent years with Jesus. They saw his ministry, they saw all the stuff that he did. And the Bible mentions how the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, teach us how to pray. Like of all the things that they could have asked him to teach us, teach us how to heal people, teach us how to do ministry, they said teach us how to pray. And Jesus spent a lot of time teaching on prayer. And the thing I'm figuring out at the moment is just how awesome prayer actually is. Because if you think about it, we actually get to talk to God. Like that's insane. Now, if you're anything like me, you do want to pray, but you're just not very good at actually doing it. And I think the reason that we don't pray as much as we want to is because we don't fully understand what happens when we pray. I think the real issue is a lack of revelation of who we're actually praying to. When we pray, we get to speak to God. Like the God who made the heavens and the earth, who has no beginning and no end, who is the most powerful, amazing, creative, awesome person that we can ever get to meet. We get to speak to him anywhere and anytime we want. That's crazy. So I think that's the first issue, is realizing who we're actually talking to. The second thing is realizing that God actually wants us to talk to him. And sometimes I think, God, you are on your throne right now in heaven, surrounded by thousands and thousands of angels and saints and, you know, there are people praying all around the world who are way better at praying than I am. Why do you want to hear me pray? But God still says to us, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear you pray. So God is awesome and holy and powerful and mighty and we get to speak to him and he wants us to speak to him. <laughs> I guess I'll share more about what I learn throughout the year as I go. So, I drink fancy tea now. This is my new uh, Christmas mug. It's pretty dark outside right now, and I've left my usual lighting stuff at the office, so I'm just, it's, yeah, anyway. I could light a candle, that might help. Ooh, fire! Does this look any better? Oh, that's terrifying, okay. So I mentioned at the start of this video that I was gonna talk about the Set Sail channel and some of the things that are gonna be changing and hopefully improving on this channel. Over the Christmas and New Year break, I had some time to actually stop and take a step back and think about the kind of content that we're sharing on this channel. There's so many kind of videos that we could make, but I didn't know which are the ones that we should make. And I suddenly thought, hey, why don't I just sit down and pray about this? Like, rather than trying to do more online courses and figure out all these things. So I just sat down and started to pray and tell God, okay, we have this YouTube channel. I believe you gave us this idea to start it, you know, to put things out on YouTube. Are we doing the right kind of thing? Are we creating the right kind of content? And I kind of just ran through every thought process that was going on in my head, you know, maybe it could be this. Maybe we need to do more of this content and less of this kind of content. Yada, 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 you know, should we keep going? Should we shut the channel down? Whatever you want to do, God. And all of a sudden, it's just like everything came into sharp focus and I just felt this real peace and I was like, yes, we're doing the right thing. And I realized that the focus of this channel is really about the coming together of faith and art, of worship and creativity. And it kind of always has been about that, you know, that's what we understood Set Sail to be right from the beginning. We were going to pursue this creative worship thing. Um, but whereas it was this kind of vague idea at the beginning, now it feels like I really understand it. So here's the deal with Set Sail. I feel like this channel has two purposes. Firstly, it's a place to share creative artistic content that we've created, which points to God and talks about the person of Jesus. That's been my passion as a creative person since the beginning. Since starting Rivers and Robots, I was like, I just want to make the most creative worship music that I can make about Jesus and just go for it. And really, I feel like it's the same vision for Set Sail. I want to create the most artistic, creative videos that I know how to make that are going to point to the person of Jesus. One of the videos I'm most happy with was the Be Anxious For Nothing video that we made in New York back in July. 
So he went and filmed like the busyness of New York and Times Square and the top of the Rockefeller building and just people moving around and the subways and all that kind of stuff. And I got a guy from my church to read over the Philippians passage about be anxious for nothing and about the peace of God. I was really happy with that video and we have plans to make a whole bunch more videos like that. We filmed one in Tokyo. I've got a bunch of ideas. Watch this space. So that's one side to set sail but I also think this channel has another side and that is to equip, encourage and inspire artists and creatives around the world. I feel like this is the kind of unique space that we're in right now of like we're Christians and we're missionaries and we're running this organization but we're also musicians and you know I've worked as a graphic designer and making films and we're connected with a bunch of different creative people and I just think we're in such a good position to be able to create content that's actually gonna be really helpful and really practical to any artists and creative types out there. So in terms of the equipping part we want to be posting like how-to videos or digging into like the making of certain songs or albums or designs. In terms of the encouraging part that'll be us sitting down and sharing things that we think are gonna help you in your walk and in your creative pursuits. And then in terms of the inspiring part, we want to be sharing content from people all around the world. So not just our own stuff, but things that we find that are just amazing, whether it's music, design, film, drama, photography, painting, any creative thing that we find that we're just like, this is awesome, I want to share this, I want to do that through this channel. And not just share the work, but hopefully try and meet the actual creators and dig a bit into the process and the craft and the how and why of the things that they've created. So that's it. Make great art that points people to Jesus and encourage, equip and inspire artists and creatives around the world. I'm super excited about this guys, I really am. And this is where I'd love to hear from you guys too. I would love to know what are the things that you'd like to know from us or from people that we know. What are the things that are maybe holding you back from pursuing some of the creative dreams and ideas that you have? What are those things that you're really inspired to do but don't know how to do it or would just love to hear discussions on it? So let us know in the comments and genuinely we're going to read through those comments and any videos that we think we can do, we're going to do them this year. Okay, deal. Also, about a month ago, we launched our Instagram account, which is at We Are Set Sail, and I made a little 30 second like promo Instagram ad that kind of highlights that, and I feel like it does sum up what we want this channel to be about as well. So, I'm going to end this video with that promo video. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. It's going to be a good year.